Hello. Today we'll use superimpose x to take a look at how to do uh, realistic shadows. So I'm opening up superimpose x. I have a previously saved session with an image and I'm going to open up that uh, image right now. So I select the project and what you can see here is a lovely photo of a horse or a mule standing outside and looking through what looks like a barn door. The only drawback with this is that the horse or mule does not have a shadow. For example, you can see from the vertical line of the door that there's a steep shadow the sun is on the left side and it's pretty bright with a sharp shadow so realistically speaking the four legs of the horse should have also had a shadow going at the same angle as the vertical um, side of the door but there's another issue with this uh, picture in that the horse itself is illuminated from the right side because the face is lighter on the right, whereas the sunlight seems to be streaming from the left. So what we really need to do at this point is to kind of redo this photo and um, fix it so that these issues won't be apparent. Now, I'm going to import the background of the empty barn uh, so I'm going to go to my layers plus add a photo layer and I have the photo of the barn and I'm going to choose it and I'm going to transform and fit to base. So now I have a new layer with just the barn. Now the next thing is to add the horse. Fortunately, I've already saved the horse in my library. So I'm going to layer plus photo layer. And this time I'm going to my mask library and I choose the horse from there. And as you can see, the horse has been placed here. So we previously noted there was one problem with the horse in that the lighting is coming, f is the horse is illuminated from the right side, whereas the sunlight is streaming from the left. So the simple solution to fix this issue is to flip the horse horizontally. So I'm going to transform and then I'm going to flip H. So now I have the horse uh, with the light coming from the right direction. It doesn't have a shadow as yet, but the horse is correct. So I'm going to move the horse a little bit behind the barn door so it comes something like this. Uh, now you actually see the problem here is that I only had an image of the empty barn. But in order to place the horse behind the barn door, I actually have to cut out the barn door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the barn layer and I'm going to duplicate the layer. Once I have done that, I'm currently on the barn layer. So I'm going to hide the horse layer for a moment. And I'm going to mask the barn. So for because the barn door is rectangular, I'm planning to use a rectangular mask which would be the easiest and most appropriate mask to use. So I went here, I chose the rectangular mask and first I chose the top of the barn. Oh, it says the current layer is hidden. I have the wrong layer chosen. So I choose the barn layer and try again. Mask tool and I've dragged out a rectangle like so. I'll tweak the corners a little bit and I think that looks okay. 
so I'm going to check and the mark, mask was accepted but I also need to mask out the bottom floor of it because when the shadow falls we don't want it to f if you look at the mask at this point you can see that the mask is is only the door has been cut out but when a shadow of the horse is cast we want it to be also cast onto the floor itself so I'm going to cut that out as well I think so I uncheck the layer here and I'm going to do another rectangular crop and this time I'm going to start from somewhere here and drag it so that the entire area is uh, cut out and I mask that one also so now let's take a look at the mask so the, the mask looks good so I'm going to show my layers again and I'm also going to display the horse layer once again layers show layer now I'm going to slide the door in front of the horse so I move it up and slide the horse so now we have the horse in position and we have the door visible so now the way to cast a drop shadow in superimpose x is very easy you select the horse layer which has been masked out and on the bottom left click on layers and we see an option that says cast shadow where it says your cast shadow so I just checked on that and right now it's ready to cast a shadow so if I slide the blue rectangle you can see that it's creating a shadow of a horse so this is a typical drop shadow but what we want to do in this situation is we want the perspective to look like to match the angle of the door itself the sunlight streaming from the door so we drag the top corner of this rectangle and slide it down and make it go below the base similarly we drag the top corner from here and move the corners around so that it looks like the horse shadow is parallel I'm going to have to actually read um, for a second reduce my image a little bit because I need more space to adjust the perspective I'll again go to cast shadow and I'm going to repeat the step that I was doing so I move the horse around so that the front leg of the horse is parallel to the sunlight it has to be at a similar angle and so you can see this is what the shadow would probably look like something like this this is a more realistic shadow and at this point there are two sliders here one is opacity and one is blur amount so you can see here the if I slide the blur to the right it, the shadow becomes really blurred but what we have on the door is a very crisp and sharp shadow so I move the slider to the very left and get a sharp shadow as well the second uh, tab on the left here is for opacity and you can see here that by if I slide it to the left the shadow becomes translucent and you can see the texture of the floor underneath it and if you move it to the right you can uh, it covers everything and becomes a solid shadow we would like to find a happy medium so one more thing that's interesting here is that the little rectangular box on the right here if you click on that you can choose a color for a shadow you can choose any color fortunately we can use the eyedropper on the left and slide it to match the color of something existing uh, within so maybe I'll try to match the floor for example or or I can match this dark shadow underneath the threshold of the steps and I choose that so now I've got a color which is similar to the color of the existing shadow and I can increase the opacity a little bit more 
I think so that it it looks somewhat realistic here similar shade to the to the uh, shadow of the door uh and I'm going to check yes so now what I noticed is there is one little problem in that the horse itself is casting a shadow which is overlapping with the shadow of the door jamb because the horse layer and the door jamb layer are independent so there may be a couple of different ways around it uh since the door shadow was already existing what i'm thinking of doing in this situation is to cut cut off the rear of the horse so that um there won't be an overlapping shadow here so i'm going to choose the horse layer oh that's already chosen i'm going to mask i have my rectangular mask chosen so i'm going to draw a rectangle that may be like so and accept that so now you see that the rear part of the horse disappeared but the angle of what i chose for the horse is not matching the angle of the shadow of the door so but the bottom of the horse is kind of touching at the corner so what i really need to do is tweak the angle of the horse's shadow direction once again so i go to layer cast shadow i slide it on and now i can try to move the corner of this so that it matches So this is an approximate match. I think the shadow is still too dark, so I'm going to adjust the opacity a little bit. And the color I think could do with a little bit more gray. So I'm going to choose the color, use the eye dropper, and try to match on the floor the color that I have. And at this point, I think I need to bump up the opacity once again a little bit. uh slide the color a little darker but it's on the blue side I'm trying to match the color of the shadow with the color on the floor so that is uh basically the method you would use to try and come up with a more realistic shadow where we were able to get the shadow of the horse and the sunlight coming from the same direction and once this is done we can actually go and save this image to the camera roll and you're all set thank you very much for watching and please offer uh, suggestions of any other kind of videos within superimpose x that you would like to 